On the turnpike in Martin County last September, two troopers were pulled over assisting a broken down driver. And dash camera from one of those patrol cars shows the dangerous moment a dump truck driving in the shoulder slams into the back of one patrol car, pushing it into the other patrol car where trooper Deanna Martinez was sitting. Trooper describes this as a horrific experience, a massive collision like a bomb going off in her vehicle. You can hear the panic in her voice. My heart is pumping. Just give me a minute. Attorney Scott Smith says she was hurt and is still recovering and waiting to get back to work. Um, our bodies are not supposed to be thrusted forward at 70 miles an hour. That's why on her behalf, he is suing the driver and owner of the dump truck, as well as the driver and owner of the tractor trailer. Smith says didn't slow down and may have prevented the dump truck from moving over. This should have never happened. This was a preventable accident. Smith says it highlights both the importance of safe driving for those large commercial trucks and the whole reason behind the move over law. Oh man. We showed the video to Martin County Chief Deputy John Budenseek. They had nowhere to go either. There's a guardrail out there. The law is designed to protect his deputies, any emergency vehicles, sanitation drivers, and road rangers out doing their jobs. There's people that are distracted with their cell phones. There's people that are distracted in general. So the problem is growing. The law requires drivers to move over one lane to give emergency crews space. And if they can't, drop their speed by at least 20 miles under the posted speed limit. But the law, Budenseek says, isn't always easy for deputies to enforce. You know, they're trying to deal with the car that they have stopped or the crash that they're at. And then for them to jump in their car and run the next violator down is difficult for them to do. And it's not safe all the time. Still, Martin County wrote 39 warnings and 58 citations since January of 2021. And will soon be sending out mailers to homes of new drivers with information about the move over law with hopes of preventing future crashes. They have to be able to go home to their family. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.